Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So a lot of people like doing New Year's resolutions. They decide that the beginning of the year is a great time to make some new changes. Maybe start going to gym, maybe learn a brand new language, maybe finally make a game, and so on. By the way, I actually started going to the gym myself on January 1st, back in 2014. It wasn't really my own New Year's resolution, it was my friend's. But I went with him and I kept going ever since. So New Year's resolutions can indeed work, and anyways, people do like to do them. But to me, that never really made too much sense. I think pretty much any time is a great time to start something new, to learn something different. I don't think you should wait for the new year just to have a reason to change something. So yep, over here and looking at the calendar, we are in November, meaning about two months or about 60 days until the end of the year. That's actually quite a lot of time to make or learn something new. So in this video, basically I want to encourage you to do exactly that. What is something you've been putting off that you'd really like to do? Maybe there's some kind of game idea in your head that you really would like to make. And 60 days is more than enough time to build a working prototype. Even if you're super busy with your day job, you can probably still find about an hour a day, and 60 hours is more than enough time to build a nice prototype. Maybe you'd like to try making a stealth action game, something like Metal Gear Solid. You can definitely explore a bunch of those mechanics in a small prototype in 60 days, or maybe you prefer something more fun and cozy. Well, you could definitely make a village prototype, something like Animal Crossing, make a world, add some NPCs, add some basic tasks like fishing, gathering plants, and cutting trees. Or maybe you just want to make a game, literally any game, and 60 days is definitely enough time to write down a tiny idea, again, tiny idea, and build it. Or if you are a complete beginner, if so, then 60 days is enough time to go through my free Catch and Chaos course and build that entire game from scratch. That course is 40 lectures long, so you can definitely do pretty much just one lecture a day and have it done by the end of the year. Alternatively, if you'd like to dive in deeper, like if you're already an intermediate developer and you want to push your skills further, if so, you can go follow my C Sharp Beginner to Advanced course. You can go through that and try to learn all of those topics. Again, maybe doing just one or two lectures a day. If you do that, then 60 days from now, you will have gained quite a lot of knowledge. Or perhaps there's just something you'd like to learn, maybe just a single topic or a single system. Maybe you want to learn all about voxels. That is honestly one topic that personally I'm very interested in. You can definitely spend some time researching and building a nice voxel system directly inside Unity. You could start with something simple, something like Minecraft, or then experiment with something quite a lot more complex, something like Teardown. I very much would like to do this, I very much would like to research voxels. Or perhaps you want to learn about computer shaders so you can do all the amazing things that you can see in Sebastian Lag's channel. That is another topic that I'm very much interested in and very much would like to research. I have no knowledge of computer shaders so they look like complete magic to me. Or maybe you'd like to build a fun dynamic climbing system, something like the Assassin's Creed games. That sounds like a pretty fun project that you can definitely do in this timeline. Or maybe you want to gain some very powerful knowledge. Like maybe you want to learn about Unity Dots. I actually just finished my Unity Dots course. So if you want to learn about that, you can probably go through that course in about two months. Learning Dots is not for beginners, but if you are in the intermediate stage, if so, then I think this skill set is definitely one you should acquire. I was just mentioning the game Teardown a while ago. I'm pretty sure you cannot make such a complex voxel system with game objects, but I think you might be able to do it with Dots. By the way, I will be publishing the free YouTube video with about the first six hours of the Dots course in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. Or actually, there's more to life than just game dev. So maybe you want to pursue some goals in real life. Perhaps you want to start going to the gym. 60 days is definitely a lot of time, more than enough time to learn the absolute basics. You can learn about form, learn how to do a squat, bench, deadlift, pull-ups, learn about different workout splits, learn about nutrition. In general, just learn some more about how your own body works. If you're not into lifting, then maybe you'll like running. And in 60 days, you can probably get yourself fit enough to do a nice 5K race. Or if you're not into fitness at all, if so, then in 60 days, maybe you can learn a bunch of fun electronic stuff. You can play around with some Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. You can definitely learn how to get some nice flashing lights very quickly. Or perhaps you want to just learn a brand new musical instrument. That's also a fun goal, so maybe learn the piano or the guitar. There's lots of awesome tutorials on YouTube to help you learn exactly that. So basically, I'm just giving you a bunch of ideas and encouraging you to make these last 60 days really count. What is one thing that you would like to achieve so that 60 days from now you can say, I'm really happy I started that challenge and made that? Now, personally for me, I don't necessarily have a single goal, but rather lots of them. Like I said, I just finished my DOTS course, and now my main goal for the next 60 days is pretty much to cover the tons of topics and tons of interesting videos that I've been adding to my ideas list for the last few months. So right now for me, my main goal is variety, covering lots of topics as opposed to diving deeper into just a single one. And outside of game dev, I just finished my marathon last month, and I've been getting back into mainly lifting lately. In the next 60 days, I very much would like to hit a new bench PR. This week, I did manage to do several sets of 5 reps with 115 kilos, so I think I'm already strong enough to attempt to beat my 120 kilo PR. Again, that sounds doable within the next 60 days. So those are my goals, but what about yours? Did this video convince you to give a nice push for these last 60 days? Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious to hear what you're going to do with this time. 
And if you need realistic visuals for whatever game idea you have, there's an excellent home bundle right now, tons and tons of assets, mostly a ton of really gorgeous environments, all of it for a super deep discount, so almost 4 grand worth of assets for just 3 bucks. These are some super detailed assets. Or check out the Unity Mega Bundle, which is ending very soon. This one has a bunch of visuals, a bunch of UI stuff. The main standouts for me are, for example, over here, the modular fantasy characters. Just with this one pack, you can make an infinite amount of characters. You can combine it with my character customization system. This tune shader is awesome. Personally, I always love this cell shaded style. And the only one sprite shader. This is one of my favorite assets of all time. I made a video review of it. Super easy to use, very easy to add, really awesome polish to all of your sprites. All of that and a whole bunch more. Check those out with the links in the description. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.